Hot up Capricorn, welcome to your bonus twin flame reading for the month of December 2020. I'm the Cosmic Divine Tarot and uh, Cappy, this here is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith, sun. Now, if it resonates with you, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notify and I will be uploading more of your messages. Okay, Cappy. Uh, also, if it doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry about it. Because you know I'm just going to go ahead and get you next time. Also, Capricorn, if you enjoy this video and you want to donate to my channel, please do. Drop a couple dollars in my cash app. Uh, in the link in the description box below. <laughs> okay, Cappy, I would appreciate that. Lovely. Now, Capricorn, we're setting this off with the Moonology cards once again. And uh, for your bonus reading, I will be reading all the cards in reverse. So all the decks that I'm using, I will be reading them all in reverse for you, baby. And that's up to like five decks because you know how I, I be in love with the tarot. Okay, if I could use a hundred decks for your reading, I would. Now, the first card you have is have faith in your dreams. Okay, have faith in your dreams, Cappy. It could be uh, dreams that you have of being in a relationship with this person who may be at a distance with you. They may be in another city, another state, another country because this card looks like someone is in the distance. All right. Or a dream of being with someone is in the distance. This is a waxen crescent moon. So we know that the crescent moon is so beautiful. So this relationship with this person is so beautiful. Have uh, faith in the dream of being with that person. Now here we have the next card. This came out in reverse. It says, uh, luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Now... Uh, in reverse, that is saying that no, luck is not on your side with this uh, Sagittarius. I don't know if, um, I don't know if the new person is a Sag or the ex is a Sag or they have a lot of Sagittarius in their chart, but luck is not on your side with this person, okay? Uh, and luck may not be on your side with this person because uh, you don't have faith in your dreams of being with them or this could be talking about the ex and you are having faith in your dreams and they don't have any luck in getting back with you. Now, the next card is confidence is your key to success. This is a new moon in Leo. All right. So. Luck is not on your side, not unless you have confidence, baby. Confidence in that you will succeed in this relationship that you are currently in. Or if you really do want to get back with your ex, which some of you might. You know, some of you may not have had the the whole horror story of the third party who was doing all kinds of um magic on you and, and magic on them and then your ex doing magical spells on you to get you to have sex with them. You may not have gone through all that. You know, so this this uh, group of, set of Capricorns may want to go ahead and be with their ex Sagittarius or ex fire sign Leo Aries. Now, that may be the case. Here's the uh, Romance Angels, baby. So, luck will not be on your side, like I said, if you don't have any confidence in, in the relationship or any confidence in the person or any confidence that you two will ever be together, all right? So, have faith, baby. Have faith. Love is coming. Love is coming. Now, this could just all be about your ex who thinks that they, if they have confidence, that will be the key to success. However, luck is not on their side. It don't matter how much faith they have in their dreams or how confident they are to get you back, Capricorn. Uh, luck is not on their side. It, it just is not on their side. I need to go ahead and, and find something else to, <laughs> to do with their time, Capy. One more shuffle, baby. Now, let's see what uh, the love romance angels have to say. All right. <clears throat> I 
Black Thought Family. What romance angels messages do we have for? Okay. Capricorn. It says forgiving and learning. This is in the upright. So it says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Now that could be for you or the ex right there. Forgiving and learning that, you know, you have to forgive your ex and learn from the situation that you had with this person. This person who is your ex needs to go ahead and forgive the third party crazy behind, okay, and get them and get, you know, the lesson from it and learn to how to be faithful in a relationship with uh, someone who they claim to love, someone who they claim to be in a relationship with and having a family with, and they, they you know, so obsessed with you, Capricorn. This whole obsession is going to teach them a lesson, baby. It's going to teach them a lesson, okay? Because mm, they are so obsessed with you, but they know that they can't get you back. But for like I said, for some of you, you may get back with this um, ex of yours. Because you didn't experience the horror show of the past. Of them hunting you down and whatnot. Now what romance angel messages do we have for Capricorn? Alright. <clears throat> it says, uh, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This came out in the reverse, Cappy. So this is telling me that um, either you don't feel that the new person really has romantic feelings because they're not really, you know, expressing them or exploring them with you. Or you could be saying that this is your ex Capricorn I don't see why you will have those feelings for the new person <laughs> the ex you know you want their romantic feelings for you to just disappear please could they just please just somebody find something to uh give this person somebody find somebody else for this person please here's the menorah it's like this person just will not find any kind of other person to be with because and, and Cappy, you, you can't really blame them, Capricorn, because, I mean, come on, baby. They went to a third party. That third party wound up being a sick person, wound up being a sicko, wound up performing all kind of magic on them to come after you to do some harm to you. And if it wasn't for, for the universe or, 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 or karma or, you know what I'm saying, the deity that you worship or the ancestors, this person would have done it. Mm. So, I mean, I would be a little wary for the, uh, for the ex, too. I mean, <laughs> I would be coming after you, too, if you were the only one that I seen as uh, a stable person, a, you know, a good person. <laughs> It's like, you know, not that I'm rooting for the ex or anything. You know, they shouldn't have put themselves in a situation to be put that kind of spell on them. All right? I don't think that they knew that this person was going to do that. Now, you told them about this person. You told them that they had a rep reputation of destroying people's families and home records and, you know, sleeping with other people's mates and whatnot. You told them that, but... I don't think either one of y'all knew that this person was uh, uh, dealing with uh, magic and doing with spell work. You know, I don't think any one of either one of y'all knew that. But uh, yeah, this this you know this person was uh, shouldn't have been open to that. But I'm not I'm not gonna uh, <laughs> try to get you to forgive. I mean. Forget about what the ex did, but definitely forgive them, Capricorn. Forgive them and, and release this person. I know you, you be trying to release them, but they just don't know how to let you go. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? Oh, Cappy. <laughs> okay, baby. Now, yeah, that's why. Oh. 
they they just want to communicate with you, okay? They want to communicate with you about them, you know, learning from the lesson, all right? And they've released the past, and they want to experience love with you. You see this person right here? This is the ex talking to you, Capricorn. This is the ex talking to you, trying to get you all hot in between your legs, okay? Trying to get you all hot in between your legs, or this could also be them talking about they know what spell work that was done on them, and they were able to forgive this person and uh, learn from the past experience and heal from it, okay? And they're back in your life right now because I said that the person from the past or the third party was doing all types of things where uh, they was utilizing maybe the period blood and uh, putting that in the food or or wiping them. <laughs> Ooh, wiping themselves down there and then feeding them that with the daggone, uh, like if they made them a sandwich or something. I mean, this person was really nasty. They was really nasty doing spell work on them. And they learned from that. They learned from that. You know, anything that they did to you is because they were under a spell. Now... I don't know if they put you under a spell because they were under a spell. But we don't know who this woman is. For real. I mean, we don't know what her background is. Except she's a home wrecker. You know, and, and sleeping with other people's mates. Or it could be a male sleeping with other people's women. You know, we don't really know too much about this person other than what they have done. Okay. Now, here we got the, okay. Here we, yeah, here okay. This makes sense. We have the uh, the nine of fire. All right, the nine of fire and upright. You see this woman, she is uh, with this man, and you know she got his phallic all in her hand down here. Okay, she unpulled his phallic right out of his flat, and he is sitting up there like, oh my goodness, I can't believe what this woman is doing. Both of them have sunglasses on, hiding their uh, expressions on how they feel about what's going on here. Now, it came out in reverse, baby. So, yeah, your ex is no longer giving the phallic to this woman right here, okay? They've even forgave this person for being the sick bastard that they are, okay? And they learned the lesson about not, you know, be giving themselves out there. Yeah, okay, here we go. The magician. Came out in reverse, okay? Now, if you look at the magician and we look at this card here, we see that this is the woman who grabbed his phallic, okay? She's right here, all right? Again, performing all kind of magical spells on his phallic to only be interested in her, okay? Or him. This could be a male who is uh, with another male who is a Capricorn. Now, uh, whatever they did to them, as you can see, the, the little dragon up here or whatever he is. I, mean, I don't know what the heck he is. I don't know what he is. <laughs> A dinosaur? <laughs> I don't know what he is, but he don't seem to be happy about what she's about to do to his, uh, his, his wand down here. Okay? So, this is in the reverse. This is in the, re this is in the reverse. So, he has cut clean. A clean break. It took a while, Capricorn, but he has finally cut it completely off with this third party. Okay, it's it's done. It's done. He's done. He ain't giving her the wand anymore. She ain't giving him the kitty anymore. Okay, it's over. It's completely over. No more, no more spells. Okay, it's done. Now, I know you heard that in the past, but baby, here's the king of wands. <laughs> he got his wand back. <laughs> Capricorn, he got his wand back in his hand, and he want to use it with you. Okay, that's what he wants. He wants to use this wand with you. And he is so happy. Look at your ex. Just happy as all hell to have his wand back in his power. Okay, his power, like, you know, when, when they uh, was having this person perform all types of harm against you, utilizing that wand, okay, they didn't have any control over that. 
You know what I'm saying? They didn't have any control over uh, this spell that this person had them under. Some type of hypnotic spell of sleep. You know, where they were walking around like a zombie. Some other spirit inside of their body, baby. Yeah. The king of uh, air right here. So he got his sword now. He got his sword to fight against anybody who will utilize any kind of magic on him again. Okay? He he knows that he's vulnerable and susceptible to people doing that, which is why he's sitting here naked and whatnot. But he is not but he's in warrior position, okay? He's a warrior now. <laughs> and he knows, she knows. Well, it's really it's really a male that I'm talking about, but it could be a female. I feel that it's a male, though. Uh, they know. They know that they're susceptible to being put some kind of spell work on, okay? Retreat. Four, four of our air. Retreat, Capricorn. They want to tell you that they have been in retreat from this person they've left this person it's just been them out there on their own being you know um accompanied by the birds okay <laughs> the birds the only company they have like the, the animals you know they just been out there by themselves you can see he just looks like he's sitting here in the woods by himself with the birds keeping him company okay so that's what he's been going through He's been going through some type of thing where he uh, has just went ahead and broke the spell. Well, the spell has been broken. The spell has been broken. Okay. All right. Now, here we got the uh, not Night of Fire. So, yeah, he showed, the, he showed the third party his ass and ran. Okay. Or he's running to you. Both of them, actually. <laughs> Capricorn, he's running to you. He's running after you. The nine of uh, night of uh, fire is him being on fire coming after you right now. I mean, well, who, whatever this person from the past was, he's no longer interested. He is the king of chalices in reverse, okay? Which means that he is pouring out all of his love he doesn't have this little look on his face anymore like uh you know um you know trying to be sneaky and whatnot trying to just you know get into your bed and whatnot no baby that's in reverse now this little boy ungrown into a man okay this little boy ungrown into a man and he's coming at you like he wants to be with you, Capricorn, okay? He wants to be with you, and he's not going to let you uh, go. Where did that card go? Because he um, looked at himself in the mirror, and he knows who he wants. He wants you, Capricorn. They want you. And it could be a female, too. I'm not just going to say it's a male. Of course, the, the cards are not gender specific. You know, there's just a lot of masculine energy out here. So it could be a feminine, a female with a, with a lot of masculine energy. All right? Somebody who is very masculine, who wants you, Capricorn, who's looked at themselves in the mirror and they just know who they want and they just will not uh, be able to see past you ever <laughs> Capricorn I mean this X is not going anywhere Capricorn mm. Mm. Cappy I know you tired of hearing about this X baby so I mean you have somebody else in your life who you just want to be with who is at a distance from you though this ex is in your same city your same state they keep coming by your house or this could be saying that your person was out there in the in the wilderness you know what i'm saying by themselves cleaning themselves uh fixing themselves healing themselves okay and now they are uh ready now they are ready to come back home to you but 
I don't know, Capricorn. I mean, your last reading was saying that this person had you in the bathroom when you was just getting out the shower and had you and was having your legs open and, and uh, you know, forming all types of oral sex on you. You know what I'm saying? And then you uh, tried to get up and leave, but, you know, this person wouldn't let you go. That was your last reading, Capricorn. So they didn't go but too damn far. All right, that was just a, what, two, three days ago? <laughs> they couldn't have gone too damn far. Of course, we know these readings are timeless, so I'm just playing with you, Cappy. <laughs> All right. Love Oracle cards. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Deal breakers. All right. It says, uh, list and adhere to your deal breakers. The universe will support you staying true to you, okay? So they know what the deal breaker is. They know that they cannot have anybody else. They don't, even if y'all are not having sex with each other for a year, okay? Y'all know what the, he knows that the deal breaker would be uh, them going out there and, um, and uh, having sex with somebody else. Now it says, realize your light. Um... You have to be healed to attract healed, okay? A human, and you are a divine being having a human experience. In reverse, this is saying that their light went out when they was under this spell. This light went out. They didn't know that they were a divine being. And they had to go ahead and uh, relight that candle. All right, now we have the graduate here. New phase or stage in relationship. Someone has grown, healed, and evolved. And they realized, but because this came out, in reverse, they realized that they had to learn how to graduate. They had to learn how to evolve, to heal, to grow. That was the only way that they were going to be able to, uh, you know, um, you know, come come back to you. And you have a guarded heart. You know, Capricorn, you may ha you have a guarded heart. You have lingering trust issues. Fear from the past hurts this person causing. Love can't get through that wall. Okay, forgive and let go. This is also saying that their heart is guarded against this person who did that work against them. Okay? Uh, the love that this person or the, the obsession or the lust or whatever of this person is not going to get through the wall that they build up out there in the wilderness. Okay, now we got abandonment in reverse. Fear of abandonment. Issues are affecting the relationship. Ghosting. This person doesn't want to abandon you no more. They don't want to abandon you anymore, Capricorn. They have absolutely no desire to leave your side again, baby. Okay? Personality traits. They want to have, they want to be funny. They want to have, going to have a great personality. They want to be compatible. Resonance connection. They want to have sunny and light interactions with you, Capricorn. Okay? Because this person done looked in the dark mirror, baby. Yeah, they done looked in the dark mirror. And this person knows that, um... Uh, you're the one. <laughs> you're the one, Cappy. They know they know how 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 hot and, and 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 sexy you are. When they were in retreat, you were the only one who was on their mind. You know what I'm saying? Keeping them company with thoughts of you. It, you know, it was just you and the birds. <laughs> you and the birds with this person. You were on their mind the whole time. Booted but naked. You didn't have on any clothes in this person's mind, okay? This person happy, they got control of their bond again. Oh, yeah, they're happy. They got control of their sword again. Oh, yeah, they're happy that they can pour out the love, you know, that they really want to pour out to you. The emotions that they want to pour out to you because they have control over themselves now. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. Okay, Cappy. But of course, the decision is going to be in your hands, baby. It's going to be all up to you. And a lot of y'all have been saying that y'all are not going back to this ex. Y'all want the new person. You're ready for the new person. 
okay, that you've been talking to on the phone all this time, and, and y'all just been getting all freaky and whatnot, and, and, and having all types of nasty conversations, yeah, I, I, know, I know y'all be having all kind of nasty conversations, Capricorn, I think I don't know, with your cardinal behind, you know, you be talking all types of freaky things, that I don't even try to hear it, now what dark mirror? What dark mirror messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right. Envious gluttony. So, it came out sideways. This is a third party, Capricorn. <laughs> this is the third party, just envious of you. Okay, envious of you, envious of you finding new love, envious of your ex coming back on the scene trying to be with you. You know, they're just sitting here looking like um, they're not that attractive any daggone way, Capricorn. They don't have a daggone thing on you. They never did, which is the reason why they had to have your ex under a spell. Because you were fine as wine and they were ugly as hell. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we got. Blinded by pain. Okay. Blinded by pain. So the ex, I mean the third party. The third party is blinded by the pain of you having everything and them having nothing. You may not even want your ex back. But yeah, I know a lot of you don't. But that doesn't mean your ex is not going to come back. Uh, hiding your true self came out in reverse, which means they're not hiding their true self anymore, their true feelings or anything. It's not just about the sex anymore. When they had time to themselves, they were thinking of you in a whole different light, a whole different light, Capricorn. And they just see you as the one who they need. And this ex is just not going to leave. They're, they're just fighting for you. This is this is a war. This person has been mentioned so many times in your reading. Okay? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And um, who's the other one? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus with the magician here. You have all the signs here that are after you, okay? So, I don't, I don't know, Capricorn. I don't know what you're going to do because this ex is just, oh, baby, they, Capricorn, go ahead. You, I mean, go ahead. You are a bad ass, okay? You are a bad ass, fine ass, sexy ass person, okay? Because this ex right here will not go. Okay, this X right here will not go. There's just something about you, Capricorn, that this X know they will never find anywhere else. And this this person just will not leave. This is the type of person that would just be sitting out in their car, even when you're in the house with your new guy or your new woman. And y'all have children together, having breakfast in the morning. Y'all looking out your window. This guy in the car up the deck on the street, but you can see him or her drunk right now in the car. Like if you don't if you don't let be with this person, it that's going to ruin their life, Capricorn. They're going to be coming after you for the rest of their life, look like. Mm, go ahead, baby. Go ahead. I have respect for it. Nothing but respect for it, Cappy. <laughs> anyway, Capricorn, if this is your reading, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages, okay, Cappy? And if, um... It doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry about that. Next time, I hope to just be talking about the new guy, okay? And, and what y'all plans are <laughs> in the future, Cappy. Peace, love, and light, baby. Hold up.